Hey guys, Tony the Story Stars Assassin. Thank you for watching this video. So usually I would do a cigar review or unboxing videos and stuff like that. But I really want to do a type of educational video. Because it's a long journey and it's, a, it's something that everybody should and always wanted to know. All right. And what do you want to know? Okay. You want to know whether or not cigar is going to kill you. All right, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other people out there that want to kind of save the world and make sure to tell everybody who's smoking that smoking is going to kill you. And I'm pretty sure that is out of the greatest intent, but that's ignorant. All right, so before you go out there and save the world, you should really watch this video for a snippet of concept. I'm, I'm not going to tell you that this is exactly what it is. I just want you to put this video in consideration and what I mean by that. Okay, so I went online and I searched you know, number one reason uh, where people die. Okay, and um, the top causes are something like heart disease, uh, cancer, and diabetic and so on, accidents and stuff like that. So I also look up some numbers and put this in concept for you. Okay. Now, first, let's clear this up. Cigar is not 100% safe. Nothing is. All right. Nothing is 100% safe. Cigar, obviously, not 100% safe. But one thing we can rule out uh, based on the information that we can find is that cigar smoking does not cause or directly relate to lung cancer because you don't inhale that so and you know if you say that well you indirectly inhale all that stuff well everything that you indirectly inhale is gonna cause some issue for you uh you know in fact if you go to some area where the smog is bad you can still get lung cancer okay there are people that absolutely have nothing to do with tobacco get lung cancer so we can rule out lung cancer but does cigar just not gonna cause you cancer all right, so let's put it in the fair way, okay? Cigar, tobacco, chewing tobacco, pipe tobacco is related and somewhat found to be um, increase the risk of oral cancer. All right, your mouth, your throat, oral cancer, okay? And but then the data is very little, right? Uh, mostly the oral cancer part of it is due to cigarettes, due to chewing tobacco, cigar is related and it's just not like 100 not related right it's related but there's not a lot of data to back that up to to see a lot of them and you will you will see you will see why okay you'll see why so if we just put that in the category that's something that's going to kill you oral cancer uh in 2023 death due to oral cancer is 11,580 11,580 cases, okay? And compare that to the number one cause of death, heart disease, which related to you eating, stressed, mental healthness, uh, you know, obesity, is 695,547, okay? So that's about 60 times the cause like you're you're 60 times more likely to die from heart disease than oral cancer okay and, and that's if you know in compared to the entire u.s population 
is not that bad. And with that being said, you know, that's roughly 0.2% of US population. Okay, so being one of a American person with 340 million people in the US, you have 0.2%, not 2%, 0.2%. Chance of you ever die from a heart disease related issue, right? Statistically. And being an American uh, living in the US, you have chance of getting oral cancer as 0.003%. Now that's like less than COVID. You're more likely to die from COVID than oral cancer. You're more likely to catch COVID than oral cancer. Okay? So just to as as a comparison, okay? Uh there is 103,000 people uh die of uh, diabetes related disease which is 10 times higher. All right? 10 times higher than oral cancer. And there's also 5,000 roughly average uh, choking related death, which is half, around half of the chances of catching oral cancer. So let me ask you this, right? Do you worry about drinking water every time you drink water? That you're gonna choke and die? No, because 0.003% half that, which is 0. .0 so it's point zero zero one percent of chance of dying from choking. It's not. It's so minuscule that you don't think about. So double that, zero point zero zero three percent of chance dying of oral cancer, and that's if all oral death, or all oral cancer death is due to tobacco. It's still so minuscule. It's like getting hit by lightning. Is that little? So you think that people's got to worry about that? Like, if I don't worry about obesity, I don't worry about diabetes, which is 10 times more likely to catch it, and I don't worry about heart disease, what makes you think that people's got to think whether or not I'm going to catch oral cancer from smoking cigar that only half, like a little bit more than half the chance of me, like than me choking on water and die? You see how ridic ridiculous that is when I he when we hear you it's like you know you're gonna get lung cancer and die, and then you go. When's the last time you see someone smoking cigar and got lung cancer and die? Now cigar is one of those industry where it's passed down generation after generation. You know the the family had to teach the next generation how to do this. It's not it's not something where. They make a product to kill you rather than they make a product as a Tijan art and they literally have to use that product themselves to blend it for you, right? So if you don't worry about going out to eat and you don't, you know, go and stay in front of McDonald's says, you're gonna die eating this. You're gonna die eating this. You're gonna die eating this. Doing this is ridiculous because you're not saving the people that's doing something every day that kills them versus something that has a little bit more chance than dying out of choking out of water. All right. And here's the important part. Here's a kicker. Okay. I said there's 11,580 cases of oral cancer, but not all oral cancers caused by smoking. Right. We have oral cancer out of DNA. Like you just have it. Now your family history just have you that. Right. You have obviously smoking anything else, chewing tobaccos, uh, eating, you know, uh, uh, control products, medications, oral hygiene, all that, okay? But believe it or not, there's a huge chunk of that is from, you guessed it, oral sex, blowjobs. Yeah, do you go like, okay, all these guys who's out there telling you not to smoke, you should turn around and says, then you should never receive blowjob. Yeah, 
that's one thing you have to give up because that causes oral cancer. Actually, that's more likely to cause more oral cancer than cigar. Okay, so yeah, save the world. Save the world, go out there and tell people never receive heads. In fact, what's what's the kicker is that person that's receiving it is not getting that oral cancer, but the other one is. So you think that people is gonna give up their regular living for cancer? Mm, the chance is that low. The chance is that low. So just think about it. Just think about it. You have less chance of getting oral cancer than those who's giving blowjob right now. It might sound bad. This might be a dull topic, but the truth is the truth. Before you go out there and tell somebody not to do something, think about what you're doing right now that's killing you. If you're not willing to give those up and those things has more chance of killing you than 11,580 cases a year, maybe you shouldn't be telling people not to do something. So I hope this is educational and informative for everybody that also give you a, a whole consideration whether or not tobacco use is safe for you do you feel like you gotta be that 0.003 percent of the people that's your chances because you have more chances to be diabetic accident car accident uh heart disease Cause uh, a cardiovascular disease, uh, DNA, simply just be messed around because your body's HPV, uh, HPV virus is not liking you. All that stuff could be the reason why uh, something has caused a fatal uh, result to you. I don't really want to say it killed you, but kind of did. And um, of all that, 0.003% of chance of dying from something that's caused directly by that, it's very, very, very low. So, this is why people don't worry, because it's only a little bit more than choking water. Blech. Choking on water and die. Choking on food and die. Yeah. Just that much more. So, if you ask me if I worry about it, not really. Not really. And if I don't worry about it, you shouldn't be worrying about it for me. All right. I hope everybody learned a little bit of things from this particular video. It's not meant to be that serious. It's just a few numbers that we found or well, can be found on the internet uh, as published number for uh, common death result, uh, result and reasons that you can use to be referenced to gauge whether or not something's risky for your health and whether or not something might kill you because um, uh, believe it or not, everything that you do every day has a chance of killing you if you don't have a liver. That's, you know, the world is dangerous. Everything we eat, everything we consume can kill us. This is why we have a liver. So use uh, whatever you feel like to uh, entertain you responsibly and you'll be fine. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.